I'm going to type the reload command here, reload and proceed with the reload. If I hit enter it will default to whatever's between the brackets so confirm so I'll hit and you can see here it's reloading the router right and decompressing the image this is the iOS right so uh, the iOS is a file stored in flash memory so it dec decompresses the file and you can see here the interface is briefly uh, turned up and then they are administratively put down once the configuration file is read and the default state on the configuration file was to have the the interfaces down so if I hit enter I'm automatically placed into user exec mode in the router in other words I'm essentially logged into the router right without even a password or anything so we're gonna change that right now so that we have to put in a password to just get to the user exec mode and I'll show you how to do that first we'll type in uh, enable that gets us to privileged mode okay and then we're gonna type in um, conf uh, config and conf and I'll hit tab tab completion and TER hit tab configure terminal and this will take us into hit enter that will take us into global configuration and now we're gonna go to even a different configuration mode a subset of global configuration mode we're going to go to line configuration mode. So I'm going to say line. Oops, I lost my. There we go. I'm going to type in line space console zero, which means it's the first console port or the only console port. So it's console zero. And I'll hit enter. And notice the command prompt has changed to config dash line so now I'm in line configuration mode which is a subset of global config mode right so I'm in a special configuration mode right now and in line console 0 I'm gonna say password and I'll type in Cisco so that's gonna make the password equal to Cisco I'll hit enter and then I'll type in login okay you can see what commands are available to me here by typing in a question mark you can see I can set the history I can set um, logging notice login enable password checking right so login right there you can see there's other things that I can put on the line console zero but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in login and I'll hit enter and now it's configured so at this point I'll type exit which takes me to global config mode I'll type exit again which take me to privileged exec mode and then I will type in copy and instead of typing in running config um, space startup config to copy my configuration and save it to the startup configuration file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do shorthand I'll say copy run start and this shorthand will work for copy running config it's shorthand for running config startup config hit enter hit enter again to save it to that name and now if I reload the router it's gonna decompress the image I should have a I should be asked for a password before p being placed into user exec mode we'll see if it works alright so I'll hit enter and sure enough we've consoled into the router but we're met with a password so we have to put in a password before we can be logged into the router so I'll type in the password Cisco hit enter and now I'm at the user exec prompt let's configure the VTY line for telnet login or SSH login for the Cisco router this time okay so I will type enable and I'm into privileged exec mode and now I'm going to need to go into um, global config mode so configure terminal now I'm in global configuration mode and once again we're going to need to go into um, a line configuration mode but this time instead of line console 0 I'm going to type line space VTY for virtual terminal 
and then zero space four which will um, configure virtual terminal lines zero one two three and four or five VTY lines for um, logging in so I hit enter and I'm put into config line config line mode or line configuration mode and then I'll say password space Cisco and you must have a password to be able to um, terminal I mean a, a telnet into a Cisco router switch you have to have a password on the VTY line so I'll say password Cisco enter and then log in and hit enter and now the VTY is set up so let's do this we'll hit um, control C hit enter and then I'm going to do a copy run tab sta tab copy running dash config to startup dash config and I'll hit enter and then let's take a look at our running configuration I can just type show run for shorthand and let's take a look I'm hitting spacebar more spacebar more there's line console zero password Cisco and then line VTY zero space four password Cisco login so now both um, both lines line console our console port and our also our virtual terminal port have been configured for login now for this to actually work we're going to need to configure an interface so that we can telnet into the router right now we're consoled into the router and we can't telnet into the router router through a console port we have to do it through an ethernet port so what I'll do to set this up is I'll get an end device another PC okay I'll place it over here for instance and then I will get a crossover cable because I'm going to go from the PC to the Ethernet port on the router so crossover cable and I'll click on the Ethernet port then I'll take it to the routers Ethernet port okay now on this PC what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to desktop configuration and I'm going to set up quick IP addressing scheme and a subnet mask and I'll make the router the default gateway the router will be the default gateway 1.1 and I won't set up DNS and I'll be 1.100 okay so that looks good so the computer is set now the router has to be configured so to do that once again we're going to do it through the command line of the router so on the router well let's do this right through the command uh, line CLI so I'm in the router right now I will do a configure terminal that gets me into global config mode and now I'm going to show you a new um, subset of global config we're going to say enter and then hit tab for interface Then I'll say fast Ethernet notice fast Ethernet and I'll say fast Ethernet 0 okay and notice it gives me I put in fa interface fast Ethernet 0 and it gives me a carrot here saying this is not the correct um, or invalid input so something I've done there is incorrect so what I'll do is do an up arrow and I'll put a question mark here and it wants 0 through 9 it wants the interface number of the Ethernet port that we're going to use well let's take a look at what Ethernet we're connected to here right there's zero zero and there's one zero so I'm probably connected to zero zero right now so what I'll do is I'll say I'll say fast Ethernet and f interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero and hit enter and notice it takes me into config dash IF or interface configuration mode so now I'm in interface configuration mode and I can type IP address 192.168.1.1 space the subnet mask I'll take a um, oops I'll take a 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
dot zero or slash twenty four subnet mask okay default all right and then the last thing after giving it the IP space address the IP address the subnet mask I'll say no shutdown and that should activate the interface and right away we get a message output from the router saying the interface fast ethernet zero zero change state to up and now it's up okay so what I can do now is is do a control C hit enter do a copy run start, which is short for copy running config space startup dash config, and hit enter. All right, and now the interface is up. So now we can we can now telnet from the PC into the router and have uh, command line access, CLI access but from a virtual terminal interface instead of a console interface. So let's test it out. We'll click on the PC here and we'll go to a command prompt at the PC and we'll say telnet into 192.168.1.1 and it asks instantly, it, has a, it sees an open and it asks for our password. We'll type in Cisco hit enter and we're in. You can see here that we can from the command prompt we now have a telnet session directly into the router so now we have two different ways of connecting and administering the router one through a console connection and the other one over the ethernet um, over ethernet uh, with telnet. 